All right, Scott's gonna show you today an example of pinch grip strength. Now, what he has on half of this barbell right here is 240 pounds. And he's gonna grab that first plate with a pinch grip. This is a lot of weight, and it's a true example of pinch grip strength. Check this out. Wow, man, that's impressive. That's impressive. <coughs> that's impressive right there. Good job. All right. Next up, Jerry's going to do a sample workout for y'all. It's going to be an example of a workout he does when he's short on time. Uh, it's about a three or four part deal to get one rep. Now, normally, he does this without stopping 100 reps, but we're gonna just do 10 reps today just for the sake of time. So y'all check this out, watch it close. This is pretty cool, check it out. One. Two. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Good job, man. I don't uh, get to a hundred of them, you'd be in. Won't need nothing more than that for sure. Good job. <clears throat> Today we're going to be reading out of John chapter 6, verses 35 through 39. John 6, 35 through 39. Then Jesus declared, I am the bread of life. He who comes to me will never go hungry, and he who believes in me will never be thirsty. But as I told you, you have seen me, and still you do not believe. And all that the Father gives me will come to me, and whoever comes to me I will never drive away. For I have come down from heaven, not to do my will, but to do the will of him who sent me. And this is the will of him who sent me, that I shall lose none of all that is given me, but raise them up at the last day. Hmm. You see, Jesus is the one who came down from heaven and gave his life for the world that we might have life. Jesus says that all that the Father gives to me will come to me, and he that comes to me I will not cast out. But, you see, we have to come to him. Now, God tells us to preach the gospel to everyone, and whosoever will may come. It's the Father's will that you be born again. But again, you have to come to him. That's the only way. You have to come to the Lord Jesus by faith. Exactly, exactly. You know, the best way I can explain this is God's here and man's here. And there's nothing we can do. There's not enough works we can do. There's not enough good deeds we can do to get to God. There's Jesus. He's the bridge between God and man. Absolutely. And you simply have to basically walk across that bridge. Uh, 
You know, he came and died for us and was raised from the dead. And it's a free gift, like we always say, but you have to accept that free gift. That's right. In other words, if God's here and man's here and Jesus is the bridge, you're still not to God unless you walk across that bridge. Right. Jesus connects us to God if we accept him as our Lord and Savior. No doubt. No doubt. When a person accepts Christ, he is justified and he is going to be glorified. Everyone that believes and receives Christ has everlasting life and will be raised up again at the last day. Well put, exactly right. So the question for today is, have you trusted Jesus yet? And if the answer is anything except yes, I'm sure you've been listening to us for what, 90 something videos laying this down week in and week out. And like Jerry said before, today is the day of salvation. Don't put it off. Don't put it off. Today can be your day of salvation. That's right. This is truth. See you on the next video.